this morning I came out to climb up on the mountain. As you can see, it's a boulder, so I've got this is this is what I'm walking on. Uh, I'm not on any trail. I'm actually just bushwhacking today. One thing I've learned about hiking in Pennsylvania and this kind of stuff, it is actually better to walk on the rocks and watch your footing. I have found and learned the hard way, thankfully with no major injuries, that if you step down on the ground in between the rocks where you see the leaves, it can be deceiving because it can actually be a hole. So I've learned that when I hike through here, through something like this, I do not step down on the areas where there's leaves just to think that it's solid ground because it's a good chance that it's not. There's going to be a hole and then you're risking of breaking a leg, an ankle, or doing yourself some serious injury. So stick with me and follow me along on this trip. So this is a great place to come and hike. Uh, as I said, I haven't been following a trail, but I know of this spot just from exploring, just getting out in the woods. Um, this time of year, I don't have to worry. But come warmer weather, particularly summer, I stay out of this area. The reason why is because we do have timber rattlesnakes. And this spot here is known to be a rattlesnake den. So right now, because it's windy, it's cold, it's still winter, um, they're down on the ground, they're sleeping. I'm not going to bother them. But hey, let's move on. climbed up to the top of those uh, rocks that I had just showed you and uh, here's my view nice little spot up here windy today I'm looking for a place to be able to set up camp so this is not going to be the spot we're going to set up camp it's too windy up here so I just came through that ridge line. I walked along the ridge, and this is where I've come to now. One of the uh, many power lines that go up over our mountains. Let's walk on out here because I'm going to show you. Here's my view. Out of here, it's a windy day. Windy up here. That's okay. I'm heading off in that way into the woods where I know of a secluded spot that I've used before where I'm going to set up camp, cook some lunch. to my uh, camping spot for the day. And, uh, got my pack hang up over there. 
and I've already got my hummock hung for the day. And let me just show you my view from my hammock. So this is what I get to look at here this morning while I just hang out in my hammock. I'll cook up uh, some lunch here in a little bit, some coffee. So I've got my uh, solo cook set from UST that's in the middle there. On the right in that leather pouch is my Emberlit fire ant stove and in the EDC uh, pouch there on the left from one tiger set is my fire kit. So getting ready to set up my stove and boil some water and make some coffee so stick with me. So as you can see I got my stove going and uh, I'll admit it's windy out here today. This is my first time on a windy day trying to start and make a fire using primitive fire making um, I did shoot a video of me trying to do that but I will admit it took a long time so I don't have that here for you but there you go here's the thing that I'm learning every time I come out and I learn more about primitive fire making and uh, bushcraft it's patience it takes time and just keep at it, be relentless at it. And that is something that my friend Joel at Great Outdoors Adventure has been, has been teaching me. Be persistent. So one of the things I like about the uh, Ultimate Survival Technology uh, solo cook set, uh, besides the handle being sturdy and a good material for cooking, I've already been using this boiling my water and cooking some lunch. But what I wanted to show you today that I really like about it is that I carry with me my Vargo Titanium coffee mug. This is their smaller model. What's nice about the solo cook set is that once I'm done with everything, my Vargo mug fits right inside there. Put the lid on, fits nice and compact in there. And the UST solo cook set comes with a nice bag for me to be able to package all this up in and put it in my backpack. So there you go. Um, the nice thing too is um, in addition to the Vargo cup going inside, there's enough room in my Vargo cup that I can put some small items inside the Vargo cup for my total cook set and be nice and small and compact, make things nice and light and easy. So there you go.